are not subscribed to our page, smash that like button, subscribe button on YouTube, press that bell button so that you see our videos immediately. And on Facebook, go ahead and ask your questions live. It's on A to Z Markets page. Go ahead and subscribe on, uh, on our Facebook page as well. So Bitcoin, my favorite coin. I really, well, I've been putting this picture on all of our videos. This is basically Great Depression, those of you who haven't seen it and who don't know what it is. That's the time that stocks and papers, etc. became obsolete. It's, it became useless. So that's the time that people's uh, gold standard, you can see in this uh, basically picture that people are running from one party to another trying to make sure that someone actually buys their gold standard paper and nobody is actually paying anything and nobody is actually giving them gold. Now, the modern gold is of course Bitcoin. Bitcoin behind it is, is not really something like crazy, it's just a normal logic how, how economy should be uh, established. That being said, we have been hearing a lot of these Bitcoin is bubble, 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 but I've just looked into the chart. Since the inception, you can see six of these, well, more or less bubbles, and each time these bubbles burst, you see another crazy bubble co uh, coming up. Furthermore, when institutions do come in to the game, they will all, always try to manipulate your mind. They will always try to put different kind of left, right, center, different news try to make you feel as if it's the end of the market and the most the most ridiculous comment that I've seen yesterday was saying that not only trying to mention Bitcoin price but also saying Bitcoin price in time now as someone who comes from traditional financial markets I can tell you that there is no way anybody who can predict the price and the timing of that price. It, there is just not such a technique existing. These are just useless commentaries by various parties in order to manipulate you, the retail party. Basically the smart money try to manipulate the dumb money or inexperienced money better to be, uh, to be said. And don't be that dumb party. Don't be the one who is making a, you know, fear of missing out kind of uh, decision uh, FOMO or don't, don't try to take an action just because someone is saying something even that party, even if that party is me so today I'm going to be talking more about five coins of course some of these coins um, well they are everybody trading uh, or holding or entering on these coins like Bitcoin and Ether. So Bitcoin currently according to iCoinSentiment.com that's the party that I'm following myself because of the sentiment analysis based on artificial intelligence in there. Uh, part of that strategy is written by me by the way. So Bitcoin current price stands at $6,470 and pretty much nothing has changed for me based on my analysis from last Friday. So if you haven't seen my analysis from Friday, you can also go ahead and see it. You, you would see that on Wednesday we hit our first target on a bullish side and then we have gone to, to the neutral level and we are still there. So my current target is staying the, the same. So the resistance that I can see is more or less at uh, 6,500 level. Following targets and my most important take profit level, if you are, if I if I would be speaking the traditional financial market side, stands at six thousand nine hundred sixty-five dollar. The next target is seven thousand two hundred ten, and seven thousand five hundred. Now at the same time, my support remains at six thousand two hundred seventy. Now. 5,975 meanwhile is the neckline. What does it neckline mean? If you are not traditionally involved with financial markets, I can see on four hour time frame a reverse 
head and shoulder formation. So if you go ahead and look into it from re reverse head and shoulder formation, you would see that from the neckline to the to the to the lowest low of the what's it called the head on the reverse that should be equal to neckline to the end of the right shoulder. So that falls by the way also in line with our Fibonacci analysis it's exactly $700 so from 6270 plus 700 so it it falls into 6 uh, 7000 sorry 6970 uh, dollar level so that that was the target that i put 6965 that's according to our true fibonacci waves and of course on additional point on it on 4 hour time frame we are seeing moving averages making a golden cross of course I should also acknowledge that Golden Cross should generally take place on daily time frame, but on 4 hour frame they are just as much uh, powerful. Icoin sentiment, bullish uh, sentiment shows another uh, confirmation that the Bitcoin market is likely to be continuous on a bullish side on, uh, towards the north, so to the moon, to the moon, let's go. And Ether, let's move on. Uh, Currently staying at 296 resistance as I projected last time, 315 hit last week, and I'm still gonna be, you know, con uh, focused on that 315 uh, level. My, however, main targets remain at uh, 363 and 420 support at 251. Again, there is also reverse head and shoulder on ether as well. That's the reason why. 363 is essential. So there is $80, as I, as I said, on Bitcoin level, from the neckline to the lowest low of the head. So when, when, you, when you add that, it also falls in line with our true Fibonacci waves. And 60, 363 is the main target for the time being. However, I'll look into sell opportunities from 420 once we see it. Now here is another thing. I've seen people asking me in private messages, can I look into ontology? So I went and looked into an ontology on US dollar or tether side, I couldn't find true Fibonacci wave. However, I could identify ontology through Fibonacci wave on Ethereum or Ether, ONT Ether pair. So according to that current uh, ONT Ether price is uh, point 0081 resistance cur uh, currently is at uh, 0 0.0091 and my main target is 0 0.01 and 0 .11, 0 0.01.0127 and I'll be looking for ontology short, short opportunities from 0 0.01.0127 and the support line currently stays at uh, 0 0.0065 and I point sentiment, let's see, the sentiment analysis shows bullish signal. Uh, it's not a strong buy, but it's bullish. Nonetheless, it's still good opportunity. Additionally, uh, I was one of the advisors for Genesis Vision last year. And that, I even did a video uh, back in the time during the ICO time of theirs. So I've seen a lot of my followers from Genesis Vision coming and asking me what's my current outlook for Genesis Vision for the fact that GVT rose to $35 and from it it's currently down towards $4 or $5 level. So I again looked into GVT but this time I analyzed it on Bitcoin perspective. So GVT BTC. Currently the price is uh, 76050 Satoshi and my first resistance that I can see is 85,000 Satoshis. Following target is 106,000 Satoshi and uh, 195,000 Satoshi and from there onwards I look into short opportunities. Support line is uh, 64,500 Satoshi. Unfortunately currently the iCoin sentiment because of the recent dip uh, showing a bearish signal. Now, let's move on to another part. I met uh, Chris from Effect AI. Hey Chris, how's it going? Uh, in Bobby Summit uh, last 
uh, June. So I'm one of the investors in it, so I may have a conflict of interest over here, so just saying it in advance. So Effect AI, again, uh, this time I've analyzed Effect AI according or against Ether. So currently it is 0 0.4039, that's the current price. And resistance stays at 0 0.4043. My main target stays at point, point four zero fifty. Uh, however, there is also previous uh, resistance at point four zero forty five. Support is point four zero thirty five, and the current iCoin sentiment signal is neutral. Now, guys, this is something that uh, we can move on very fast. I want to touch base on something additional, and this may actually explain why Bcash is actually going down. If you look into the market for the last three months, Bcash tends to appreciate faster than Ether or Bitcoin. However, recently it's not really moving just as fast and currently Bcash is staying at 550. Although Vitaly from Ethereum, Ethereum co-founder, uh, said that he's supporting it. I'm not saying anything against it. However, here is a, an important thing. There is, I've read somewhere just recently, yesterday, that Bcash features are likely to be listed on CME. So if you look into the time that Bitcoin features were expected to be listed on CME, the price basically shot up, 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 up. And then it was a going down. Now something similar may happen on Bcash. So I haven't really analyzed it. Tomorrow I look into Bcash analysis from technical perspective. However, for the time being, I would remain cautious on Bcash. Tomorrow I'll also look into Ethereum Classic, so ETC. I've seen a lot of you guys asking me to analyze it, so focus on that. If you have any question you are watching live, go ahead and ask it. Uh, more questions are always more than welcome. So on YouTube we are going to be uh, summing up for now. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. It's somewhere down here, whatever. And press that bell button there so that you can see whenever our video is being published and these analysis if you pay attention my analysis is not intraday analysis I do true Fibonacci wave once it is done it's valid for at least three to four weeks and that's the at least part most of or quite often most of my analysis will be valid for for even further uh, I've, I've had like as an example my RAND analysis uh, South African RAND nothing really co uh, connected to crypto. I did analysis last year in May and the target just uh, hit last week. So sometimes, you know, it can go even a year longer, uh, but majority of the time you gotta really be cautious, you gotta be really focused on what you are doing. And remember, 90% of trading is all about your psychology, 10% is all about what you know. So psychology is not your knowledge, it's not your, your, how much you've read. It's about how calm you are, how much you can control those fingers, you know, don't make crazy, crazy decisions with your fingers. Don't go on, you know, rush, rush, rush on fear of missing out, you know, uh, just because someone said that you, you need to buy it today, today, don't, don't do that, you know, control yourself. Do your small bit of research at the end, if you make that decision, nobody will be responsible for your profit or loss especially none of these online uh, analysts including myself by the way my analysis just resembles my opinion is not a trade advisory it's up to you what you learn out of it and it's up to you how you make a decision out of it so youtube i'll see you tomorrow